I'm Barry Mitchell. The energetic young man you're looking at is Lehman College student David Benito. The highlight of my trip in South Africa was being invited to partake in a tribal dance uh, by the Zulu tribe. I will never forget that moment. It was a life-changing moment for me. David is part of a group of student volunteers who recently had an eye-opening adventure thanks to a five-year-old campus-run community service program. Amanda Dubois is director of Lehman College's Community Engagement and New Student Programs. She coordinates Lehman Life. Leaders involved for everyone. The Lehman Life program basically gives students an opportunity to volunteer at home and get a sense of what the needs are in our own community, then take what they've learned to South Africa in this instance. Do you guys remember the Mandela House where he used to live? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. This is where he lived with Winnie. They are giving up their summer or spring or winter break to go do something that's other than partying or going on a, a spring break cruise or something like that. Students do have to fundraise 100% of their trip, and the students help choose a location that they're going to go and do community service. And our students traveled to South Africa. We got to Johannesburg, and we volunteered for about five days there, and then traveled to Cape Town. There's the kitchenettes. <laughs> So this was where? A kitchen at Nicosi's? Yeah, mm -hmm. in the kitchen at Nicosi's Haven. Nicosi's Haven in Johannesburg is a residential community for mothers with HIV and their children. We volunteer there and amongst our duties, we helped out in the kitchen and supervised nursery school children along with teenagers and their tutoring. The thing with going to Nicosi's Haven was that we weren't aware. They didn't tell us who was HIV positive and who was not. I personally, I did not care. I got my master's in secondary English education um, here at Lehman. I chose South Africa mainly because I wanted to work with um, children and younger kids. Um, I work with a lot of teenagers at home and here I get to experience what it's like to work with the smaller ones. The most memorable student I worked with um, was Sean. There's Sean! Oh. Isn't that Sean? Yes. Yeah. And he's this little boy um, that's just absolutely adorable. I, I had to work a little bit to have him trust me, and he did. In Cape Town, Daniel Locke helped catalog and preserve artifacts of political protest from the apartheid era. We were able to visit the Mayu Bouye archives. We were able to work in the library and also in where they have the posters and banners of during apartheid, um, which is you know the word that South Africans use for discrimination and segregation. And we actually were the last set of people to actually touch those documents that are going to be you know you know presented later on. Oh, there's Linda. Linda was the gentleman that we were talking about. He was the one that started the Alexandra Center for the Aged. Twala. That's right, Linda Twala. This used to be my home where you're standing. Uh, because of my political involvement in 1986, it was bombed by police. Most of the educational moments would come during those discussions after hours. Like, we can't believe that that gentleman said that. I remember saying uh, to my colleagues and to my peers, Wow, I am now in Africa. This is the African feeling that I was searching for. Join Lehman in Life, see the world. Woo! Who wrote that? <laughs> Barry Mitchell, study with the best.